From our very own gymnasium here in Palatine, Illinois, it's the night of the seniors. We'll bring it down to the PA announcer to give the starting lineups, and then we will open up this game. And as the opponents wish each other good luck, it's a two-man studio up here. Luke Jordan alongside Sean Adler. There is nobody else with us except Emma, who just joined us. But this is the first ever time that we've had two guys doing a broadcast, Sean. You think yeah. this is going to be difficult? You know, it's definitely going to be difficult. Luke's working Photoshop, running everything. I'm on the camera and talking. I mean, it's going to be quite the night. I am not a camera expert, so this may look like Johnny Pelletier on camera. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. 
Here we go. Valentine 13 and 12 so far this season. Oklahoma State's 9 and 18. 9 and 34 in their last two seasons. They did not win a single game last year. They went 0 and 16, but they bounced back with a more impressive season after really having a rough one. Yeah, Luke Hoffman's a fighting school. They're going to fight till the end of every game. Don't let that record fool you. You're now ready to get going as Spencer Cruz has the ball on the right side, ready to send things off for the first set. The senior, Quinn Lang. Way. Ball hit with total velocity. And wow, they got, a, they got quite the student section. They're chanting already. It's a freshman chance for Jacob Skagalski, who is indeed a freshman. I would hope so. Wallace tries to put it down. He's denied. Gary in an uncomfortable spot. Couldn't do much there, and that'll trail its way out of bounds. It's 2 nothing Hoffman. Yeah, rough start here for Palatine. They just need to get that ball. Get that ball moving. I mean, when they're on a rhythm, it is tough to beat them. First point for Palatine. Now the senior post. Seven senior players and one senior manager. And it's a point for the senior Sharian. We're tied up at two. That one bounced off the netting. Maxino sending it off. Nagel coming in hot. Ties up the game back at three. Great player that by Nagel. I mean, he's going D1 for a reason, Luke. Nagel, definitely one of the topics of the night. Recently committed to Mason University over in Fairfax County, Virginia. A lot of speed on that one from Skagalski, but it's too much. And now the Pirates have their first lead. Oh, no. Oh, excuse me. I guess it wasn't. I think that might have been a score error. It should be 4 3 Palatine. They reversed the call. Oh, they reversed the yep. call. And put right back down off Nagel's initial touch. Denny Filipov, the junior, one of the captains of that team. It's a nice point there, and now it's a two-point lead for the Hawks. Lewandowski with the serve there. The opposing 14, J.D. Wardle puts it down. Now we only remain within one. Yeah, great job by Wardle. Man. Another one of those seniors getting recognized tonight. Tyan Villa lose with the serve there. Another one of those seniors. Looks like we might have had a net violation. Well, it's not about how you get the point, it's about when you get it. We don't know how what exactly happened there, yeah. but we're tied at five. <laughs> Heiser sends it back. Great rally from the Hawks. We got the volley going in volleyball before Wardle puts another one down. And like I said, when Palatine gets into a rhythm, it's tough to stop it. Yeah, I think there was a little raised eyebrow of concern when they went down 2-0, but been on a heater since. Nice hit there. 
to kill for Denny Philippon. Jacob Skagowski. Freshman. Serving this one in. Wardle. Able to get another point. That is Wardle's third point already. It's you know, you gotta show out, Luke. I guess so. He's having quite the night already. Seven six, Palatine is number seven, Derek Nagel. Serving from the back row. A little bit of a miscommunication there, but the ball stays in the air. Post now. Locked down and a great play from the Hawks. It's Jake Roberts, another one of the captains. Coming in clutch there. We're back at sevens apiece. Tie game. After Roberts made that play, he's now serving the rock. And that one gets by Villa Luz. Hoffman regains that lead. A little bit of a tennis match so far. Yeah, it's gonna be back and forth. I think for a majority of this game, these are two really, really tough fighting teams. So far. Easily controlled by Brown. Here comes Nagel! That ball is in! Mason University looks like they're getting a good one. Only 57 Division I volleyball teams in the U.S. George Mason University actually finished 15th in the nation. Yeah, I mean, they are getting a stud from Palatine. Great player. A bit of a risky touch from Bellalou, but it stays alive. No longer. That one tips off the netting and out of bounds. Valentine back with the lead. The tennis volley continues. Filipov from way out of bounds, and that one is way out of bounds. And hey, someone has a two-point lead in this game. I didn't think we'd see it. Yeah, I believe it's the first two-point lead since Hoffman Estates got the initial two. Yeah. So, might want to stay around for this one. Heiser mistimed that one. Back within one. Palatine four and five at home. Hoffman Estates three and four on the road. Both teams barely under 500. Here's Wallace coming in hot, and he gets the point there. PJ Wallace. We saw, we recognized that name when we were looking at this roster. He was a basketball star when yeah, we came and watched him. And now he's going to college for basketball, right? Yep, North Park University in Chicago, one of the best D3 schools around. And Nagel. I mean, Derek Nagel just lost the spotlight back. We're not allowed to talk about anyone else. What a play. Nope. Well, if you want some more Derek Nagel stats, he's six foot ten. <laughs> Sean and I actually played uh, some pickup basketball we with did. him one time. Yes, we did. That was that was quite the fun time. Yeah, I don't remember. I mean, anybody. I had Derek on my team. I don't know how fun it was for you. Well, I didn't have to guard him, so I was blessed. <laughs> Cruz back to the service line. This is his second appearance. Chaidez was blocked and he couldn't hold on. Great block there from what I believe was Brendan Gallardo, the sophomore. Wow. What a serve. I think this entire place thought it was out. Cruz is another one of those freshmen. It's a very good young team that these Hawks have. Looks to be so far. 
Nagel just barely out of bounds. Three consecutive points for Hoffman Estates. Nagel looking for some redemption, but it's rebounded by Cruz. Off the netting, he'll get to re rally. Wallace. Nagel's there. And Lang just going to set it over the netting. Wallace. No, he's short on it. And Palatine breaks loose the point streak that Hoffman had. A great play at the net there. They needed to stop that Hoffman momentum, and they did it right there. Coming in hot, Gallardo. And he'll head to the bench. Quite a smile on his face after making that play. I think he's a Hoffman freshman on a shutdown Palatine senior guy real quick. Nagel barely putting this one on that. He's able to rebound it. He'll pop to Wallace. Perfect spot. Hoffman back with their three point cushion. Four point, excuse me. Maxino sends this one away. Heiser's got a hustle. Gets it to the center. Here comes the attack. Stop there. Ball up in the air. Point to Hoffman. Might have been a lift, is what the official is signaling, I believe. And just like that, it is 17 to 12, Hoffman Estates. Like you said, don't be so, don't be shocked. Don't yeah, be confident by this team's team. record. Hoffman's gonna play their heart out for the entirety of this game. Valentine's gonna stick with it. So I just can't imagine how deflating it is to be that team that doesn't win a game all year. Yeah. I think they have I think they have some steam coming out of their head into the season, and yeah. that's why they're looking for their 10th win today. And I mean, you add two or three freshmen to a starting lineup, and I mean, they're doing wonders right now against Palatine. There's about 15 seconds left in the timeout. Palatine is two and five in the MSO West. Going to make it three and five today. Hoffman Estates, although they have a 33 win percentage, they have not won a single conference game. They are 0 and 7. But they still got three games to make a statement. And looking to get their first conference win in almost two years. Went to Palatine and now it's Brown. A little bit of miscommunication, but Hoffman still able to handle it. And they'll give that point to Palatine. I, Sean, you're looking at me weird. Did you think that was in? It was very close. I mean, that I, was all the rest decision. Yeah, I thought that was in too. Hey, but we're not complaining over here. Yeah. We can sprinkle in our little bit of bias. Filipov sets it for Wallace. And it's just a cheat code when you get the perfect placement of a set and you're 6'9", like DJ Wallace. That's an A-plus of a setup. And I mean, I don't know if you know this, but was he the Hoffman player that dunked at the end of that basketball game? I believe so, he yes. Definitely, most definitely could have been him. And he's an athlete. And so is Derek Nagel. And Derek Nagel got his back right there. Wallace now subbed out for a little bit. Nagel the only one above 6'8 out there. <laughs> and this is when Palatine needs to attack. If DJ Wallace is not on the floor, you need to go at them. Bella Luz is looking to keep it going. Two points between the two teams now. Solid serve. Counterattacked by Hoffman. 
Not the contact that Skagowski wanted, but the one that Palatine wanted. It's now a one point game. And Villalusa's serve is just outright. Huffman showing that they do not want to let go of the lead that they've had for quite a while now. I believe they've had this lead since they were up 12 to 11. Wardle! Wow, what a great play on the defensive side. And that one is going to trail out of bounds after the initial attempt from Heilemann. to 17. Skagowski. Nice serve. And it's going to be an ace. Skagowski looking for another one. I think they might have gotten him for a lift there. And Coach Gavin is going to call another timeout. Team down five. We're going to bounce back. Us over here, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back in about 45 seconds. Right back into the action here. Brown puts it over. Hoffman looking to get a set here. Blocked by Wardle. Second opportunity flings over the out-of-bounds line. And now it's just four points. That part the two teams. Nagel with a solid serve. Now Hoffman State stands two points away from winning their 26th set of the season. And this one sent out of play by Post. Match point here. That relies on the hands of Roberts. Post, that one's tipped. Still a chance for these Pirates. Filipov, game! Hoffman Estates takes set one on Palatine Senior Night, but still plenty of time to bounce back for these Pirates. We're going to take a break as these guys do. See you back in a couple minutes.
<laughs> you like how I corrected him too? And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Heiser kicking things off for set two. Hoffman Estates won the first one. They win this one, they come home with a win. Their 10th of the season if they were to do so. Not a hot start for them though. Around a nice effort to the outside for Post. Shut down, back the other way. Nagel puts a nice soft touch on it. And it falls. Hoffman Estate started the first set 2 0. Valentine starts this one 2 0. Wallace, right in the corner. He probably pulls a dart every time. Yeah, I mean, DJ Wallace is showing out right now. Kowalski. Eiser puts it up for Bueno, he's blocked. Good look for Bueno, just a better block by Jake Roberts. One of the few seniors on this squad for Hoffman Estates. Azure puts it up for Nagel. A for effort, Hoffman. A for effort. Not much you can do when Derek Nagel comes swinging. With the serve. Double pop puts it across the walls. It's blocked by Tipton. Another chance. Kept up by Heiser, but it lands. A good volley, but we're now tied up at three. Tipton. This comes all the way back, and they're going to give the point to Hoffman. They now have the lead for the first time this set. Tipton gets that point. We're back notched at four. Oh boy. Yeah. There's a reason Wallace has 2.3 kills per set so far this season. Leader in the average of kills. Heiser for Nagel! In point accuracy. And back. I mean, every time DJ Wallace is a great kill, Derek Nagel comes back and does the same thing. Yep. It was 3-3. It was 4-4. It's 5-5. These two teams just trading off points. Let's see who breaks loose of the chain. The chain continues. Hoffman gets its point. Question is, will Palatine get this next one? Wardle with a nice touch, kept up by Skagowski on Hoffman's side. Tipped in, soft touch lands. What a touch. It's our fourth tie in a row. 
They were notched at three, notched at four, notched at five, now notched at six. Filipov. Play by Maxino to keep it alive. Same with Tipton. Nagel. That ball might have went out of bounds, but they decide to play it safe and play it. Heiser puts it up. Wardle kept alive. What a volley we have here. Filipov, no. Now Tipton from the other side. What an effort. Oh my goodness, Lewandowski. Heiser for Nagel, finally. The longest point of every single one we've seen so far. Were you entertained, Sean? I mean, that's about as entertaining as it gets right there. What an effort from both teams. Some confusion there. Substitution issues. Dylan Maxino. The junior now loads the serve. It's a powerful one, but Tipton's there. Roberts with the, no, not with the kill. They play on. And they still get the point. It's Filipov. Two now point gap. That? Did that hit the basketball hoop? Yes. So they're allowed to play it off of that? I did not know that. Yes, they are allowed to play it. Heiser, good effort, but he just launched it back a little bit too far. Three points now separate the Hawks and Pirates here. Nice kill there from Charlie Post. <laughs> Roberts. Just barely out of bounds. Crowd on the left's got to pay a bit of attention there. And then hot. Yeah, great play by Palatine though to decide to not dive for that ball. Because, I mean, it was, it was close, but it was out. Villaluz with a serve that could tie up the game. This ball kept up by Heiser. Bueno's going to touch it forward. To the opposite side. For Bueno, blocks kept alive. Missile sounds, and they're going to give the point to the Hawks, but Pirates are quite confused, especially Jackson Brown. And so am I. Yeah, I, again, could not tell you too much about this. And Filipov with a serve that shocks electricity into Hoffman's bench. Good efforts here. That attempted kill, a little bit too much on it. 12 to nine. Wallace, he's gonna have to bump it over. Nagel. Roberts with an impressive point for Hoffman Estates, and they are just not letting up. 
The mentality of this set by Hoffman Estates, anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. And I mean, I've been saying it the whole game. These guys are fighters. That record, you can't be fooled by it. Coach Gavin using his third time out of the day, first one of the set. It's awfully quiet in here. I feel fear to talk <laughs> and have everybody over there hear me. Going into this matchup, Palatine beat Hoffman Estates in nine out of the last 10 matchups, dating back to 2018. I mean, that's that's impressive. For a school to dominate that much, and I mean, you see it over different sports, but the, in one sport to dominate for that long, that's really impressive. And I mean, they could end up being two and eight after this one, because I mean, Hoffman is putting a big fight right now. They're playing a great game. Players march back out there. And it's currently Hoffman's ball on the serve, and it looks like it'll be Skagalski sending this one away. Back and forth action so far. Nagel puts Palatine in double digits. Yeah, Palatine needs to go on a roll here, and I think they definitely can. When they get hot, it is hard to stop them. Here's Charlie Post, bouncing the ball. Filipov, a little give and go there. Nagel sends a fuming kill. Nice catch by one of the and attendees. What, what row did that one land in? I kind of know. Uh, that is row number six. <laughs> Ball end in row number six. You heard that correctly. Good effort there by the Hawks. Peltine answering right back, but it's just out of bounds. Good awareness by Filipov to let that one go. It pays off. And, and I think he thought it was in. He yeah. looked really mad. And then you saw that they got the point and he got happy again. Yeah, you saw that, you saw that sigh of relief. It's always probably stressful for a volleyball player to predict on where the ball is going to go in or out. That one was in, but Filipov couldn't handle the heat. Now Jackson Brown, fellow hockey teammate of mine. <laughs> Nagel with the left hand. Wallace coming in hot. Great effort by Brown. I don't know how he kept up with that one. Wallace take two, blocked. Wallace take three, tipped. Nagel keeps it alive. Brown puts it up. Point to Palatine. Or excuse me, point to Hoffman. What am I saying? Oh, I was out of breath there. Yeah. Just barely didn't make it over the netting. And it's an ace for Derek Nagel on his senior night. He brings the Pirates within two. Yeah, Palatine's come right back into the set. They were down five. Back down to two here. Putting up a good play. There's Nagel in the neon cleats. Two consecutive. A surge. Shocked into this Palatine team right now. Timeout called. by head coach Heracles.
definitely a good time to call a timeout. Two consecutive aces by Nagel, especially when it's senior night. You could feel the energy starting to rise, and now it's you know getting deflated a little bit, but it's still there. Yeah, I mean, how do you come back? You got two straight aces let up on you, and now you got to go back out there and still face Derek Nagel. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one. And like we've mentioned before, at the senior night, two all seven players and one team manager. Charlie Post, Zion Villaluz, Nathaniel Sherian, Derek Nagel, Jackson Heileman, Quinn Lang, and team manager Kenna Banks, who also takes photos for the team, and they're, yeah. I've seen them, they're pretty darn good. I believe she was responsible for all the photos that are up on the oh, awesome. senior night banners. You want to take a little zoom on those real quick? And Nagel with the triple ace. Didn't get the ace there. They might get the block, and they're going to give it to Palatine. Tie ball game. They've tried, they've tried to claw their way back into this game for a long time. They're finally tied at the 16 point mark. Here's Nagel to maybe give Palatine the lead. You gotta watch out here. Danny Butler opens the game back up. And this set is gonna come down to the wire. As, I mean, most of this game has been. Often did pull away in the second, in the you know second half of that first set, but this one's gonna be a lot closer. Tipped it, timed it perfectly. Back to 17, 17, back to a tie. Tipped it. Gagowski, too much power, Palatine lead. I believe one of Coach Gavin's kids almost walked onto the court. Oh, They're gonna give that point to Hoffman State. Sean, did you catch that? I did, and it, it was so close. That's one of those ones where it's really up to the refs. That's the second one we've seen like that. Palatine regains the lead. Maybe that's a ball don't lie moment. I don't know if that applies to I mean, the score ball. You never know. Palatine inching closer to sending this into a third set. And now it's a two point gap. Filipov with the kill. Just like that, we're back within one. He's a setter, Chance. Yeah. Well, for a setter, Filipov can heave that ball. And now he's got a chance to heave it from behind his own service line. Nagel! Wow! I'm surprised the refs even contemplated you that almost, call. That was almost a, a backfire on you there. Put me in the ref spot. Look at that reaction time from me. Cruz puts it up. To the opposite side. That ball close to us. Pretty darn close to us. Gagalsi to tie the game here. Here comes Nagel. And 
I mean, most of the set has been Derek Nagel. He is taking over right now. It's his senior night. I mean, he's willing all these seniors to a win. Definitely having some fun. Been a part of all the action tonight. Been a low serve from Post. He's gonna head to the bench. Bennett comes in. Nervous times here for Palatine. Great job by Filipov to answer on Nagel's spike. Couldn't answer that one. Right into the corner. And like you said at the start of the first set, Mason University is getting a star. Philipoff sets it up for Wallace, it's blocked! Bumped over the net, and now Palatine's got some time. Nagel, come on! No! Another perfect kill from Derek Nagel! Time out, Hoffman Estates! And Luke, this place is amped, you're amped, and Palatine is amped to be right back into this one. They want this to go into a sudden death set, and now they're one point away from doing so. They also have the serve here. Things looking bright for Palatine, but the set isn't over until it's over. Yep. We've seen Hoffman have those little three, four point runs, yep. especially in and set one. And that's all one. it takes right here. Yep. All it takes is three points, and then you're in win by two. That can go either way. And Hoffman Estates has been on a struggle. They were one and eight in their last nine games. They've yeah, only I mean, gotten one they, the That's the thing, they aren't playing like a team who's lost eight of their last nine games. Exactly. They're playing like they're fighters. And I mean, that's exactly what they are over at Hoffman. They're great kids. They were eight and 10 before going into that slump, wow. now nine and 18, so. Definitely put some damage into their record, but they're playing like they're, they got a winning record like Palatine yeah. right now. Gotta give some props. Go off for Wallace, Wallace with a nice touch. They gotta set it over and they do. Bennett's there for the set. No. Hawks back the other way. Missed time and that is game, we're even at one. Packed two sets so far. And now these guys get to play one final one to the side Palatine Senior Night. They're watching PHSP TV live on YouTube. We'll be back shortly after this break. Stick around.
are even at one in this series. It'll come down to this set. Heiser ready to go. And we're off in set number three. On senior night here at Palatine High School, DJ Wallace wastes no time getting things going. And Hoffman has the first point. And I'm not saying it's a pattern, but the prior two sets, the team to get the first point ended up winning the yep. set. So, let's see if that pattern continues. Nagel said, absolutely not. That ball is closer to us than it is the players <laughs> on the second floor. Now it's Charlie Post. Right as sends one back. And that was like a combo block there. Nate Cherry and Derek Nagel. I don't know combo. why I got goofed by that, but from my angle, I thought he never got yeah. it over the net. But apparently I was goofing, I guess. 2-1 lead for the Hawks. Roberts on the serve. Bueno, able to get it over the net. Here comes Wallace. Beautiful kill. Roberts, another serve, and he gets an ace there. Or one Hoffman. No team has broken out with a three point cushion this early in a set so far. Definitely raising some concern on the Pirates' side. Wallace, another one. And Palatine had all the momentum at the end of that last set, and it's just completely flipped. Wallace is catching on fire. And so are the Hawks, a four-point lead. As they have five of the first six scored. Nagel able to rebound with one back. Now it's Brownie. Pfizer for Brown. Nagel, too much on it. Six to Hawkins. Wallace subbed out. Lewandowski enters. Here's Lewandowski. Nagel. Here's another try for Nagel. Lewandowski answering in every way possible. For the point, no. Nagel, another attempt, Lewandowski gets on another one. Are they looking for Nagel again? Yes, but he hits the net. And if you're on Hoffman Estates, you are, it's law to buy Philip Lewandowski dinner <laughs> after that point. Yeah, what a play. I mean, four straight. Unreal. As he now serves the ball away. This one doesn't go Nagel's way. The defensive side for the Hawks showing out. And they're going to get a point off of it. Unreal. Volleyball is actually 
one of my favorite sports to watch, and that's it is exactly so why. So back and forth, it's so entertaining. And just incredible hustle plays like that. Yeah. That can take your team a long way, like that block from Nagel. They're just gonna have to bump it over. And now Palatine in position, looking for a point here. Yes, they got it. They just gotta slowly get themselves back into that rhythm. They can crawl right back in here. You got plenty of time. Hoffman needs to score another 17 points yep. before they can win. So, time is plenty right now. Philip off. Another setter. Been good, putting up some great work. Lewandowski is the other setter on this team. Cruz, the freshman, hits the netting. It's nine to four. Tipton on the serve there. Nice block there. Uh oh, miscommunication from the Hawks. And yeah, Palatine's only down four here again. They can crawl right back into this game. Just gotta fight a little bit. Well, they got a point there. It's now three. Tipton. Serving again. Gagowski, too much heat for Brown. The only two freshmen on this Hoffman roster out there. Wardle. That put the Palatine bench in their feet. And what an answer back. That's how you respond to a little run by Hoffman. Right? He just told you your point was cute. Yeah, watch my eyes. Gagowski, ball tipped. Two players bumping to each other. That's Villaluz and Tipton. And Post unable to be there. Seven to seven. Brown pushes it forward for Pose. Barely out of bounds. And now Hoffman's back into that comfortable five point lead. Like we said, looking for their 10th win of the season. Skagowski is too far on that one. And I believe they're gonna say that was a lift. And just like that, two quick points from the Pirates. Back within three. Middle pop, or Skogowski, <laughs> tipped it, oh my. Oh, Robert Reed's post like a book. What a play, Palatine. That was impressive. Nagel tips this one over. Bill Pop for Wallace, blocked by, Na oh no, but it was out of bounds, excuse me. And they actually messed up the scoreboard here. No, the point prior. He touched the net, I 
I'm pooping today, Sean. You know that? Post. Denied there. Nagel got it. There's Mr. Post. That's in. That is in. Hoffman was celebrating like it was out. And I was about to scream at them and correct it for them. It's a one point game now. So quiet. I know. <laughs> it's so quiet. There we go. That's what we needed. <laughs> Thirteen to twelve. Max Prep State rankings have Palatine at forty-nine, Hoffman at one thirty-nine, like as in one hundred and thirty-nine. So, I think with Max Prep people will be surprised to see this. And the now last one matchup. Point game. Huh? One point game. Palatine's yep. right back into it. Like you said, she's got to slowly inch her way back into it. That's exactly what they did. Great block there. They got to stay alert, though. Tipped in. This one's off the netting, and Philippov's there. Now across. And, and Danny all Butler. Tied up, Luke. We are tied at 13. It's a 10 to five run for the Pirates since it was eight to three prior. Butler gets that one over. Tipped in, blocked! Point to the Hawks. Bennett subs in for post. That's the only substitution we have there. Here's Roberts. Leads the team in blocks with 29 total. Tipton gets that one to land. Butler. He tapped his head twice after that happened. Got to lock back in. That is technically an ace for Jackson Brown. Butler's on that one. Filipov. And they'll give the point to Nagel. You want to tell me why that's a point, Luke? What? You want to tell me why that's a point? Yeah, it's really nice to put your partner on the spot, Sean. <laughs> nah, I was kidding. I do that to you all the time. That's like the point of your job. Nagel! Three-point lead for Palatine! Troy Johnson, the sophomore, now enters the game for Danny Butler on the Hoffman Estate side. Like we said, it was once eight to three Hoffman, and now it's 18 to 14 Palatine. Here's Brown. Gonna bob up for Wallace. Ball tipped Bennett with a good effort. I thought he had that for a second. Hawks just not tapping out yet. Yeah. 
Tipton. Got it! Here's Nagel. The pressure looping on this serve, looking to make it a five point game. Right in the set three. Nagel got it! Back at the service line is Nagel and those neon sneakers. Philippoff. Heiser gives it to Tipton. Lewandowski's got to hustle to it, give it to Johnson. Tipton taps it over, Lewandowski puts it up. Skogowski to the front for Johnson, he's blocked. And it's a net violation on Palatine. 20 to 16 in favor of your Pirates. I mean, what a game this has been. It's been fun. This has been fun, John. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first volleyball game we've done in nearly half a year. Nope. I'll tell you, we missed it. Be an understatement. Bennett with a nice little bump. Point to Palatine. Uh-oh. That's not going to receive good feedback. I thought for sure. I thought it was in, but I mean. No, no, it was out no matter what, but I thought Wardle was the last one who touched that. I don't, I don't know if that's the right call there. Another point for Palatine. Time out. Electric set so far for Palatine. But the goal has not been accomplished yet, and that goal is to get the dub on senior night. We will be right back in 30 seconds. Palatine, three points away from grabbing their 14th win of the season, third conference win. But Hoffman, still not tapping out. Yeah, they're not gonna go away, Luke. We need to get this game done as fast as possible. They're like the little flies that won't stop buzzing around your ear. They'll be here forever if they want to. Wardle! Oh my gosh! Ew! I mean, these have a seniors, day. these seniors are having themselves some nights, Luke. You have yourself a night, old man, Wardle. Skogowski. Still not giving up, it's a five point game. Now it's Filipov with some pressure. Tipton, it's high up. Brown with some hustle. They gotta get it over. Heiser, it's out of bounds, just barely. Oh man. Hoffman's not gonna go away, Luke. Gotta put him away right here. And now they're one point away. Off of a powerful serve that had too much power. Heiser, game, set, match. Ball in his hands. Puts a soft one over the net. Skogowski, saved by Heiser. Nagel, up for Bueno. Oh, he just put it off the netting. Talk about a storybook ending. 
they were so close. Rogalski, if he misses this serve, it is ball game. He missed it! it! He missed it! And Palatine wins on their senior night. A first set scare, but a second and third set comeback for the successful Pirates. Now 14 and 12 on the season. Three and five in conference play. Hoffman Estates moves to nine and 19. Owen set, Owen eight in conference play. And I mean, what a game for a senior night. I was just disappointed it had to end like that. <laughs> I, had a, I had a little gut feeling. I had a little gut feeling like, what if this ends on a bad serve? And unfortunately, that is exactly what happened. And also, I don't think we've mentioned it yet, but this new scoreboard in the Palatine oh, Gymnasium, so awesome. it's amazing. Giving everyone at home a view of it right now. I mean, this is, this is amazing. You see Zion on the board. Let these run through all the seniors before we end the broadcast. But oh boy, that was some fun. The seniors now on the court taking some photos. A lot of parents with phones yeah. out. <laughs> Gotta capture the moment. I know you're busy, Sean, but I'm gonna go check out the boys lacrosse game at the stadium. <laughs> Quinn Lang, actually, the senior now up there, played lacrosse prior, and he made a decision to go play volleyball, and he's on varsity, he's paid off. Looks like he's been having some fun out there. There's team manager, Kenna Banks. Again, just a big thank you to all the seniors. You guys made this year great. I mean, this team, they're awesome to watch. Still got playoffs. Yeah. Hopefully they have a home playoff game and we can broadcast it. That would be pretty amazing. I'm right up here. There's Jackson Heilman. Nate Sharian. Sean, you said you have some classes with him. Yeah, I mean, I've got three with him. I've got college comp, AP government, and AP stats. And I mean, great guy, super smart. Helps me whenever I need it, awesome guy. I mean, great friend, and he's a heck of a volleyball player. All these guys are. There was Derek Nagel, the last senior of the rotation there. As we head back to Zion. Derek, like we said, D1 commit, even after his high school career is over, his whole career isn't over yet, because he's got another four potential years to yep. play at George Mason University. From all of us here at PTV, AKA the two people here, <laughs> my name is Luke Jordan, and to my right is Sean Adler. We thank you so much for tuning into this game. You have yourself a great rest of your Thursday night, and tomorrow is Friday. So Hallelujah. enjoy your weekend. I'm going to the Chicago Steel game out at Fox Valley Ice right now if you want to meet and greet me there. <laughs> but um, I'm in a pretty good mood, Sean, I will say. Yeah. So I know you got to go study for a ton of time, don't you? No, man, I'm done. No, you're done. I, I have one more test, and then I am I am done, man. I can kick back. It's pretty sweet. Well, how about me? I have zero. <laughs> Ever. Hope Bradley doesn't see that. <laughs> okay, well, we've held you here long enough. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your night. See you later.